Go ahead and do an introduction. Tell us who you are. Go ahead and do that right now. Uh, my name is Kaylee Mallory, mm. and I race boats. Right. And why did you like doing that? What inspired you to do that? And uh, tell us, um, what what can women do to, uh, say, the fall in your foot shoes? What they have to do to, to fall in your footsteps? So uh, can you give us a little story about... Uh, uh, what it's like to run boats and also to um, inspire women to do uh, to race as well and to actually inspire them as what does it take to to do all that and wh what does it and what motivate you to do this go right ahead and do that uh, so I got started racing um, at a very young age I grew up being a volunteer family for Seafair mm -hmm. um, which is a big local race here in Seattle right and um, just grew up being a volunteer and just being a big fan, um, which is how most people start out. And my older brother started racing smaller boats. Um, you can drive those at the age of 16. Um, gender doesn't matter. You can also get into outboards at a younger age. We start racing outboards at nine years old. Um, we didn't do that just because we didn't really know about outboards. Um, and I've been racing ever since, and it's very, very simple to get involved in boat racing. Basically, you just come to a race and volunteer, mm -hmm. and somebody will ask you to come help or ask people, what can I do to help, and go mm -hmm. from there. Mm -hmm. And what, what what can you say to women who actually uh, won't want to go into boat racing? What do you say to women who are, are young, or are, are young uh, kids who want to go into boat racing? What do you say to them? Go for it. It's something you want to do. You know, there's nobody stopping you but you. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to add? Um, no, I mean, it's there's nothing, there's nothing quite like boat racing it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just a fun activity. There's something different to being on the water versus racing on asphalt. Right. Racing, racing on asphalt, every lap is very similar to this. Asphalt's not changing. It may be getting a little bit warmer, so there's slight change. Mm -hmm. When you're racing boats, not only is every lap constantly changing, your conditions are changing, but the water's getting rougher and rougher every single lap, and it's just so intense mm -hmm. that not only are you racing your competitors, you're also racing your elements. Right. And one question I have for you is how fast those boats go, by the way, and, and uh, are, are they, uh, do they have a stick shift, or do they ma manually, or how does it work when you're changing speeds? That's a good question. So for boats, there is no, there's, there's no transmission. Um, boats are all, I mean, it's just like a ski boat. There's just, you know, mm -hmm. a throttle, basically. It's all that there's on a boat. Mm -hmm. Just like a ski boat, just like a, Outboard engine is just a throttle. Mm -hmm. um, there's no reverse. Um, some boats have canard wings, which is how you control the airflow under the boat. Mm -hmm. um, the fastest that I have gone would be in the Unlimited, which is the largest class, and those go up to 200 miles an hour. Wow. I did. Uh, I raced. Uh, I drove the boat on a small course, so I think I maxed out at probably 175. Wow. So, do uh, you have to worry about currents, though, of, of the the waves being too ra uh, too too rapid? Is that is that the right term? Because uh, uh, you know the, the is that is that true? The way for a nice uh, you know you can't have too high of a current, can you? Right? You cannot have uh, high waves, right? Go ahead. Yeah, the current's not a real big issue. Um, it's the high waves. Mm -hmm. um, there's white caps we can't raise. Mm -hmm. um, these, these boats need fairly calm water to raise. Mm -hmm. Also, high winds are a big problem. That's what makes the reason that these boats blow over mm -hmm. um, is due to high winds. Right. And can you elaborate some more about that? Um, yeah. Uh, when I, I mean, not, not all the time is high winds an issue. Uh, when I crashed, it was perfect conditions almost. There was a little bit of wind, but not bad. But um, if you were trying to go out and the water's too rough, you can actually blow holes in the bottom of your boat mm -hmm. um, because they're fairly thin fiberglass and composite material. Mm -hmm. um, they're not ocean liners. They're semi-fragile. Right. They're fiberglass, right. Is that correct? They're fiberglass? Yep, fiberglass and uh, composite. Oh, okay.